Hi, my name's uh, Mike Datto. I'm a Sutter County farmer, grow rice and walnuts. And I'm standing here on the side of the Feather River Levee right after a high water event, uh, talking about what we did uh, to patrol this, this set of levees during the high water. Uh, it was mostly a volunteer a uh, bunch of farmers and, and employees from Reclamation District 1001. For 24 hours a day during the high water, we patrolled these levees. Uh, the reason we do it and the reason we're able to get a lot of volunteers is because uh, everyone who lives in this area has a vested interest in these levees and preserving them and protecting our homes and our farms and our fields. Um, so we're out here doing it. It's never really hard to find people. Everybody wants to help and uh, so it works out pretty well even though I get pretty tired towards the end of it but right now the waters drop below monitor level and so we're not having to patrol anymore but we wanted to show you kind of what we look for during a high water event uh, you'll see a lot of seepage through the levee that comes through and that and, and you want that seepage to come through that's water that drains out of the levee what you don't want is sand to come through so we get what we call boils which are a hole that pops up that runs water and if it starts to move material like sand and stuff then we know that's coming from the levee. And so we'll build these sack rings to try to raise water level above the boil and add a little pressure to the boil to stop the material from flowing. And so if you drive down a levee and you see these things that's what's going on. Uh, if it gets really bad the Department of Water Resources will send out someone to look at it and then if it's really bad the engineers will come out and they'll decide whether or not to make a fix. And, and this year we did get some fixes on our levees. They lay a fabric down and put gravel and rock uh, to hold the levee in place, but yet let the water flow through. And so we have several of those in our district this year.